Some people may want to interpret suboptimal performance as always representing malingering. It turns out that malingering and suboptimal performance are not the same thing. Suboptimal performance can be a result of malingering, but it can also be a result of many other things. It can be a result of fatigue. It can be a result of legitimate distraction by the child. It could also be uh, for other purposes, such as um, uh, avoiding participation in some activity. So uh, suboptimal performance has many different interpretations or many different causes. Malingering is one interpretation. To get to a judgment or classification or diagnosis, if you want to call it that, of malingering, requires a more intensive investigation. We need to have a clear understanding of the history and the context of the evaluation before we jump to the conclusion that, aha, this child or adolescent is malingering because suboptimal effort has many different causes. Malingering is one potential cause that deserves investigation, especially in forensic contexts or in contexts where monetary gain may be in the picture, but it's not always the right conclusion even in those circumstances. So before you tag someone as being a malingerer because they failed a performance validity test, be sure you've investigated other reasons why they might have failed and have considered fully the context of the evaluation.